Hi everyone. Today I'm going to share you with some concepts how we deliver some objects with uh, saturated color and uh, only one color or maybe only one related major color on the screen we have seen here. Uh, this color we can divide by three categories. The first one that will be very far away with uh, dotty or the foggy atmosphere that we can feel that is faded away. The second one is the lighting part. And when the light exposure is very high, then we can see the reflection on their surface. Each surface, they have a different exposure of the light. And this creates from right to left the space. We can easily define this one is much closer than this one. So we have a two direction, two direction uh, on the canvas, and change the canvas to uh, three dimensional. This will be similar to the painting I'm showing beneath of the iPad. Here is the cherry tomato and the orange, and we can find the color change between the orange and from the saturated to a little bit cooler color of the yellow. So the distance will be created. And this kind of color change we call the color temperature change from warm to cool, from near to far. So we also can use that in the strawberry. So we can use the warm color here and added dilute with some titanium white. So that make the color will be fade away and look that uh, will be further away. So all these effects, we are going, going to make a magic illusion. All the illusion we create is through the color temperature. And that is not only one tool we can use. We can also use the value. The value changes similarly, for example, like this one. We can see the strawberry, they have the dark and the light side. At each dark and light side, the linkage in between, we can see there is a value from dark and the value of the light. The different value create the interface zone here. The longer the zone we have, the interface we have, the stronger the power we can see. And this can easily create a long distance, I mean the longest distance on the canvas. And this can catch the eyesight of the audience immediately because it's easy to identify the color and identify the object. Oh, okay, this is the strawberry. Even they are walking by. On the hallway, maybe four or five meters away, they still can recognize what we are painting about. So the identification is very important if we are using the value as the interface. So we have the color and the value, and more important is the edge. Uh, we can see what is the edge about. Uh, we can see the, the dot from here. The special dot create a very strong point if we are looking at the strawberry, at the first sight, we probably will be catched. We'll catch this small dot. This small dot, maybe that is white, maybe that is a light, and maybe it is dark. So this kind of light or dark create a difference in between. So the subtle change of the edge, you also can create the depths of this strawberry. Once we have three tools, value, color, edge, we can combine together using the different brush stroke, just like what I'm taking this brush. The brush stroke we lift from here, a strong brush stroke here, then the, this part will come closer to our, our eyeball, and this one will create a more closer to our vision. So that is the another way we can use. So, so far, we probably have proposed about four or five or six tools that we can use on the canvas. 
For the combination of these tools, I can create three-dimensional scenes. Change a flight two-dimensional picture in two three-dimensional canvas. Okay. Anyway, we still have to paint it. Then we can see what happened later. All right. See you next time. Bye.